Good evening. Um, I just wanted to put some info out there for you guys because I got very frustrated. I bought this projector from Atmos FX for Halloween decorations. Had no clue what to do with it. Um, there was no directions. I couldn't find a video on YouTube to help me. So I thought I'd put this out there because I just got off the phone with um, customer support. Um, so hopefully this will help. So this is the Harman ViewSonic. It's a M1 Plus version. So what they told me to do, let's slowly go over here. So what you do is you go to this website, www.viewsonic.com, and then what you have to do is you have to go over here in this search bar right here, and you have to type in M1 plus minus two. Doesn't sound right, does it? You would think it would be just one, M1 plus, but it's not. So what you do is you type that in. So this is what you get right here. That's the projector. So you click on details. Hopefully my computer will not be slow. But you go down over here to downloads. Let's see if I can get this. Okay, so over here on downloads, you have drivers and software. This right here is a manual, they said. I did not use it. But this right here is what you need. This is what you're looking for when you your machine is calling for an upgrade. It's a firmware upgrade. As soon as I turned my projector on, that's what it asked for. So this is how you get it. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to put a thumb drive into your laptop or your computer and you have to click on this and download it to that thumb drive. That's it. That's all you do. You take that thumb drive and you put it in here and then I don't have the screen up right now, but you have to go to your, use your remote, use your remote, go to your USB port, and then follow the prompts. And now my firmware is upgrading. That's all you do. So um, if you're having an issue about doing this, um, this is how you do it. Very quick and easy. Um, he did say that after this is done downloading that you just take the thumb drive that came with your kit and insert it, go to your USB port and choose the option that you want and then it'll start playing. So we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll do another video. Alright, bye.